Hello everybody. I just wanted to uh, greet you this morning and also you're probably wondering what I'm doing with this box over my head. This used to be me. It used to be my spiritual box. I used to go like this out of it, peek out of it. Nobody could get inside my box. But today, I'm free of that box. No more box for me. I'm going to come out and tell you all how much God loves you. That used to be my box, my cage, to where, you know, how you can get beat down so much that you're hurt that you don't want anybody in your circle. I'm here today to tell you that Jesus can set you free from all of that. And he's set me free from that. He's still working on me, but hey, at least we're headed in that direction. We're not where we have been. We're going on forward to a wonderful thing that he's got for us. And I just wanted to encourage every single one of you today to thank the Lord for everything he has given you in Christ Jesus. He has given you anything uh, that your heart desires. Because when your heart and your mind and your mouth line up with his word, then you can have anything this word says. Your thoughts line up, your mouth lines up, and it's just a wonderful experience. Let's go to um, Ephesians 3, verse 7. Oh, let's see. 314. For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom his whole family in heaven and earth derives its name. I pray out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Christ dwells in our hearts through faith. This book is a supernatural book. His words are spirit and life. And if you have any loved ones today, pray this prayer over them that they may see the light and receive Jesus into their heart. Every one of you today, say this prayer. Like I said, it's just like a marriage. And mean it from your heart so you can see him. Lord Jesus, I thank you for loving me. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I believe you died on the cross for every single thing I've ever done wrong. And I just give you myself today in exchange for you, you giving yourself to me. I make that great exchange today. I'm not the same person in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you've prayed that prayer today, you have started your journey as a new creation in Christ Jesus. There's so much to learn. Now, the enemy will try to come and trick you out of stuff, but don't let him. Don't let him. Mm -mm. No, we're going to go on. The, so, it also says, I had to inject that, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know the love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Right here, God is love. The best love of your life. If you remember the very first day that you fell in love, well this right here is falling in love with the greatest love of all. And He's in love with you even more than you are in love with Him. But when He fills you, you just start getting filled up with that love. That love heals all depression, all anger, just you just surrender surrender to him and I thank you um, I just thank the Lord for for everything thank you for thank you Lord and we just praise you Lord and we thank you for your greatness your goodness upon all these people and we just touch and agree right now if there's anybody that's experiencing any kind of sickness just to touch and agree with me right now that first Peter 2 24 says by his wounds you were healed Meditate, sorry, renew your mind to that scripture because that's who you are. Study who you are in Christ. You have been seated with Him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. It's all about being in Christ. Christ in you and you in Christ. And this is the real thing. He is the Holy Ghost. And thank goodness I am not this person anymore looking inside, outside of a box of hurt. You throw those former things off and instead you take on the nature of Christ. 
by meditating and reading and speaking His Word daily, day in and day out. If you have to, take a lot of time off just to do that and be with Him. And He'll lead you in that way.